hello guys welcome to my channel uh, in this video i would uh, show you how to use uh, bjd npa transistor as a switch so let's begin the bjd npn transistor uh, as we know that works in two types that is as a amplifier and as a switch as an amplifier the transistor works in uh, active region while in the switch type the transistor works in a cutoff region either or either in a saturation region so in a saturation region the transistor would work as a short circuit trans uh, short circuit switch and in a cutoff region the transistor would be open so i will show you how so let's pick up the transistor 23904 this is the common transistor used in many electronic circuits as I have already demonstrated in my previous videos and now place the now place the base and collector resistances the 10 kilo that 10 kilo ohm resistor is a uh, is a very commonly used base resistor for the 23904 and with a 220 ohm resistor for the collector okay now you Connect the emitter to the ground. Use battery for the voltage source. 12 volt battery is used widely. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in order to trigger the base uh, voltage at the base resistance, we have to use a switch. The switch would be in LT spice. We have got this SW SW switch. This switch is very interesting because uh, when you give the input uh, potential to its plus and minus terminals, the switch this mechanical switch would turn itself on or and on and off. This is like a relay type switch. So I would use this switch in order to trigger the base voltage at the two and three nine zero four so that the base current would flow through the R1 resistor and so the transistor would go into saturation and the ground would be connected to the R2 resistor thus conducting the current through this resistor and we will show with the waveforms how this would happen so let's connect this Okay, so 12 volt is connected here at the input of the switch and the output of the switch is connected to the base resistance. Now in order to trigger this switch, we have to use a pulse waveform, pulse uh, source. So a voltage source connected at this terminal and go to advance and use pulse. Now the pulse initial voltage is 0 and the on voltage is 5 volt. Delay, rise time, fall time, just leave this and on time is let's say 10 milliseconds and total time period is 20 milliseconds. So the 50% duty cycle would be here, right? And we would connect the ground terminal here, ground terminal here, and connect the wire here. So when the pulse of 20 millisecond time period appears here, the square wave would start to up, um, trigger this switch accordingly thus the 12 volt would uh, also trigger the base current and hence the output of the collector would also trigger now we would use nodes at the output output node and input node input i would take here because the we would see the waveform at the input and we will see the output waveform as well of the switch so just to tell you that this transistor switch actually inverts the input waveform with 180 degree that is the output waveform is 180 degree out of phase with the, with, with the input therefore a square wave at the input would be appearing as inverted at the output so let us see uh, either it is or it is, it is not so let's click simulate 
okay let it be 100 millisecond time period okay this is giving an error because we have not modeled the switch we have to use a switch model this requires a model so this model is here I have already opened the analog devices website and this article voltage control switch in this uh, article voltage control switch you can find this model you can simply co directly copy this model as, exactly as it is and place here as an spice directive paste and now hit switch sorry again there is error because the model says my switch and the switch we have used says sw therefore we have to rename this my sw this name that is this value this value should be exactly the same as this my sw okay this is very important now we hit the simulation and there would be no error yes perfect and this is the input right perfect square wave this is not actually the square wave but a uh, uh, pulsating DC wave therefore the output would be inverted of this yes that is correct we would see in the another output pane this as you can see when the input is low that is the input is ground the output is high and when the out input is high the output is low so you guys have, uh, you see that the output and input are 180 degree out of phase and the transistor is working exactly as a switch as it should be so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you guys gained some value from this video please give thumbs up to this video and please do subscribe to my channel and also please watch my videos till the end because in the video i usually give me, uh, some important tips between my videos so it is vital that you guys you watch my videos from beginning till the end uh, thank you for your support and please give thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel thank you very much bye bye